Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In my last two tutorials I talked to you about how I have made over $11,000 selling printables on my Etsy shop. And if you aren't already familiar with Etsy, it is basically a platform where you can sell handmade items. Now previously I thought that you had to physically create these items and go to your post office and mail them off to your different customers. But this is not true. You can actually make digital downloads or PDF files like calendars, agendas, wall art, and so much more and sell these downloads on your Etsy shop. So I have made over 19 different printables that I put on my Etsy shop in 2016. And to this day, I am making between 100 and 300 extra dollars a month selling these printables in my shop. So in my last tutorial, I taught you how to create printables using Microsoft Word. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create printables using Canva. Now it is free to sign up to Canva and on Canva, you can create printables and graphics completely for free on their website. Now there are thousands of different types of printables that you can sell on Etsy. And in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on a really popular niche on Etsy, which is the wedding niche. So today I'm going to show you how to replicate some really popular items on Etsy in the wedding niche. And I'm also going to show you a free website that you can use to get royalty free graphics, illustrations, and photos that you can use in your designs. I'll show you how to design something within Canva, how to upload your own photos or graphics, how to customize the text and font, and how to save this as a printable file that you can later on sell on Etsy. And before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I will be releasing more videos on how to set up your own shop on Etsy. And you can also check out dozens of my other videos on how to make money online as a freelancer, as a transcriptionist, and much more. So let's get started. Okay, so before I get into showing you how exactly to create printables in Etsy, I just want to show you an example of what kind of printables we are going to be creating. As I said before, the wedding niche is extremely popular on Etsy. You will find there are so many different women buying things on Etsy for their weddings. And it's a great niche to get into because think about how much money people spend on their weddings in North America, $20,000, $15,000. So if you're spending that much money on your wedding, buying a $10 or a $5 Etsy pack is going to be like nothing. So what I'm going to show you as an example, um, this table numbers for weddings and basically when someone has a wedding in North America, they'll put these little signs on each table showing which table the guests are supposed to sit on. And they're just very simple designs. You can see these people are selling them for $5, $10, and you can see these shops have hundreds of different sales and all of them are pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how to create something like this and then with our own little twist on it. Because you might say, well, how are people going to find mine and want to buy my printable when there are so many available? Well, all of these look pretty simple. So if you offer something a little bit different, like this one, they have a little plant design, or this one, they offer your own photograph in the printable, that makes it a bit more custom and people will be more likely to choose yours printable if you're offering something a little different. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this in Canva. And again, all the skills you're going to learn today about how to create printables in Canva can be applied to any type of printable. You don't have to just make these kinds of printables. This is just going to show you how to use Canva and how to get inspired. And you can use these strategies to create wall art, to create cards, invitations, any sort of printable that you want to create to sell on your Etsy shop. But look at some of the, this woman here, 35,000 sales on her wedding shop. This woman, almost 2,000 sales, almost 20,000 sales. I mean, this woman has probably made over $100,000 on her shop. It's amazing how much money you can make on Etsy. So let's get into how to create printables using Canva. So I'm going to show you how to create this and this is the free version of Canva. If you want to sign up and create an account on Canva, you can go to the description below and click on the link. And once you get into Canva, you can see there's all sorts of different things. You can look at all of these different templates, logos, posters, and these are all things you could create cards, flyers, um, and sell on Etsy. But we're going to create something starting from scratch. So we want a blank template. And all of these products, the size is four by six, which is your standard photo size or five by seven. You're going to click create a design and then go to custom size. And then here, the pixels we want to put in are 1200 by 
1800, which is four by six. And if you want five by seven, 1500 by 2100. Click create new design. And right here we have a blank slate for creating our printable. So I'm gonna name this wedding table design one. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add some text. You're gonna click here on text and you can use choose any of these. I'm gonna click the top one, add a heading, and then I'm going to put in table. This right now we're just going to add the text and then later we're going to change the size and the font. So I'm gonna put table at the top, I'm gonna to add another one, put table one, and then at the bottom, then I'm going to add a subheading and what we're going to do like they do in all of these is put the name of uh, the bride and the groom, let's say Jennifer and uh, Sawyer, and then the date, so May 1st, 2021, for example. Okay, so now we want to make this beautiful. We're gonna click on the first one and then you can go up here and click on any font that you want. Now there's so many nice types of fonts that you can use. The ones that have the crown are premium, so we can't use those unless you have Canva Pro, but we can use all of the other ones. So the one I saw before that I liked was called Daydream. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we can change the font size. I'm going to change the font size to 280. Click enter. To change the positioning, just click on it and then you can just move it how you like it. And Canva has this nice built in grid. So you can see here that it's telling me that it's nice and centered with the long pink line. Then I'm going to click on number one. I'm gonna change this as well to daydream and Let's make the font size 700, press enter. Then at the bottom here, I'm going to change this font just to see, or however you say this. And you can adjust the font size however you like it as well. So you can see that what we have just created here on Canva is very similar to what you can see here on Etsy. But let's say we want to make our stand out a little bit we're going to add some elements, some nice design elements. So you can go to pixabay.com and these are free images and royalty free stock images that you can use in your commercial works that you can sell and there's no copyright issues whatsoever. So here I'm going to type in plant, for example, plants or flowers. And you can organize this by, you can search by illustrations or you can search by vector graphics as well. Okay, so let's say this one, for example, I want to use. You can see here it has the Pixabay license. It's free for commercial use and you don't have to give any credit to the author. We're going to click free download and then download it in whatever size you want. And then you can click I'm not a robot, click download. And here we have the image that we're going to use. So to add this image into this template here, we're going to click on uploads, then click upload media, go to device or wherever you have downloaded the image and click on the image and click open. So now you'll have access to add this image into your design. So be careful when you're adding it because if you click it to the side here, it will make it the background and we don't want to make it the background. We want it to be a separate little element. So let's just, once you see that it's, not filling the full image, it's just like this, drop it, release your mouse, and then we can play around and move it. So what we want to do first is we want to make sure it's behind the text. We don't want it to be on top of the text. So for example, if it is on top of the text, you're going to right click and choose send to back. And now it will be behind the text. Now I don't want it to be this red, um, I, I want it to be in black and white. I think it will look nicer. So what you can do is click on it, go to effects, and you can play with any of these effects if you want to choose it and make it a different color, or you can go to filter, and then you can choose any of you know these filters that you want. If you wanted to make it look you know whimsical, you can change the intensity, drama. I just want it to be grayscale or street. I want it to be in black and white and then you can choose the intensity of it as well. So I'm just gonna put it at 70, for example. 
And then what I want to do is make it transparent. So up here, click on transparency, and then we can move this down a little bit so it's a bit more of like a faded flower. It's not so dark. And then you can click on it and adjust it and drag it however, however you like. We can even move it a little bit if we want it just to be peeking out at the side and you can just sort of have fun playing around with this design element. And then once you have it how you like it, we can even add another one at the bottom here. So click on the element, right click, go copy, then right click, paste, and then we can click on it and click flip and then choose flip horizontal and now it's on the other side and then we can bring this down here and then rotate it however you like it until you're happy with the design. And just like that we've created a really minimalistic but stylish table number printable that you could sell in a wedding themed Etsy shop or any sort of design Etsy shop. And what you could also do is offer people the customization of whatever color they want. So let's say you know all of these people are just offering it in black and white or that you have to actually if you download and purchase their printable you can edit it yourself in an online editor but again not a lot of people are comfortable with editing their own work they'd rather you do it for them so you could charge the same amount and say you'll do all the editing for them so if they pay you five dollars you'll put in you know the name of the bride and the groom or the two people getting married and put in their wedding date and then also change it to whatever color that they want. Let's say their wedding color, you know, is a, is red or is gold or silver or something like this and they have, you know, a certain color that they want, you can offer that for them and offer to change these elements as well to whatever color that uh, they want. Now I want to show you how you can quickly add in the other table numbers because this one you would be selling table one, two, three, you know, it could be 10 tables or more. To duplicate this design, at the top, click Duplicate Page, and then you would just put in Table 2, Duplicate Page, Table 3, Duplicate Page, Table 4, and you would just keep doing that all the way up to 10 or 12 or however many tables there are. And then to save this printable and download it so you could give it to your client or to your customer, you go download and here you can choose whatever you want. I recommend saving it as a PNG file so it'll be high quality and then the customer can go ahead and use this file to print off in their home computer or give it to a printer and then you just click download and it will download all four pages. So it'll open up in a zip file here and then your client or your customer will have all of the designs ready for them to print off or give to their printer to print off in separate individual files and you can just send them this wedding table design zip file that they can go ahead and export themselves. Now let's say you want to offer an option like this and add the option that your client or customer can add their own custom photo. What you can do, let's for example bring this over here, bring this over here, resize the table, make this a little bit bigger, and then you can go over to elements and under frames click see all and you can choose any of these frames to place over this and then add any photograph you want. So let's say they wanted to have a different photo for each table number. Let's go down here to this square, click on it and it will add it to your image and you can resize it however you like and then right click and go send to back so the numbers on top and also these two design elements and then to add a photo to this go to uploads choose upload media and upload whatever photo that the customer sends you then drag and drop the photo into place and then to reposition it you'll double click on the photo and then drag it over and you can even resize it like this so it's exactly how you want it inside the image just like that. Double click and just drag it however you like it so it's nice in, nicely inside the image. And then there you have it, a really beautiful, here I can click, click on this to zoom it up. 
And just like that, you have a really beautiful table printable that you can sell to your client and you can do these custom and charge more because you're going to custom do it for them and they don't have to worry about it themselves. You could also change this to black and white. You can click on the picture, go to filter, and you can change it you know, to any filter that you want. I'm gonna change it to black and white or grayscale. And you could even have fun changing or adding effects to the text by clicking on effects. And you could add a lift or a shadow if you wanted to add a shadow and play around with that as well. Give it a little splash of color. And then again for this one, you would just click duplicate page. And you can again change this to table two. You can press delete on the photo and then add in whatever other photo you want to add. And just like that, we've created some really beautiful printables that you can sell on Etsy. And I especially think it's a great idea to offer these custom options because so many of these different shops on Etsy are selling people editable templates, basically saying you have to make the template yourself. Me personally, if I was in buying a template on Etsy, I don't wanna make it myself. I'm paying them to do the work. So you can offer someone, listen, I'll create all of these for you. I'll add in your own pictures. I'll do the colors that you want and I'm going to charge you this much to do it. And that is one way that you can set your shop and make your shop different from the others is that you're offering to do all the work for them. And once you are finished creating your designs, Canva will save your designs every time you log in. Just click on all your designs and then these are all the ones that you have worked on. So you can just go ahead, click on it, and then you can go ahead and put in whatever new information you want to put in for your next client, for example. You can also go File, Save, or Save to Folder, and then create a folder if you want to put all of your wedding designs in one folder, for example. These sorts of printables would be a bit more active because you would be offering them to do the work for them, so you would be working with each customer differently, but you can use these same tactics or these same strategies to create printables that aren't necessarily customizable. For example, if you're creating wall art or something that you can hang on a wall of a baby's in a nursery for a baby or a birthday gift or a Mother's Day present, you know, these are all different things that you can create on Etsy that you don't necessarily have to offer customization options. But these are just some ideas of how you can create really beautiful printables that you can sell in your own shop. I recommend you go on Etsy, browse through all these different printables, these ones that are really popular. So if you're able to offer someone something that's different from the other printables that are on Etsy, you're going to set yourself apart from the rest of the other sellers and people will be more likely to want to buy from you. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in any other tutorials or you want me to teach you how to create other sorts of media or printables using Canva, using Microsoft Word or any other sort of graphic design software, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please click like. It really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And thank you guys once again for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.